Last month I have visited famous late Cretaceous rock quarry in Poland in hopes to find some fossils. Fossil filled rocks were everywhere. I have split tons of them, broke my pickaxe in the process, but in return I did get some goodies. Some of the fossils are completely covered in matrix and needs to be prepared. And that's what we are gonna do today. This will be a new experience for me. I have never prepped super fragile fossils in soft child matrix. Hopefully it won't be too stressful. This is chalk soft material, so I wonder if it will be easy to or hard to prep it. I bet I will be able to remove the chalk easily, but the amulet itself, yep, it's as fragile as the chalk. So let's try it out, I guess. Let's move this side so it will be a little bit more comfortable to me and let's try it out. Matrix split it in very unfortunate way in the middle of the ammonite. This means that the shell itself was damaged or missing in this place where it popped. At that moment I wasn't sure what to think of it. From the inexperience, I still hoped that the shell was under chalk layer somewhere and damaged the middle unnecessary even more. That damaged middle did confuse me a bit and I contacted my friend about it. He told me that damaged shell could be predation marks from the crab and pointed me to the expert of the field, who did confirm that that's exactly what it was. That shell was damaged by Cretaceous crab. But the story is quite interesting. I was told that if the ammonite flesh was still inside the shell, the shell itself would be completely destroyed by the crab. That means that the crab discovered already empty shell of the ammonite, made some holes inside and after learning that there was no food, he stopped. The ammonite with predation marks are more rare than the complete one, however, I would still prefer undamaged ammonite. Okay, there it is. So it turned out to be quite unique piece. I didn't expect it to be predation damage. Quite cool, but due to my inexperience that that could be the case, I did a little bit of poking of small holes in this center, which was absolutely unnecessary. <laughs> yep, uh, I will in the future I will cut this piece so we can be a lot smaller and it will be perfect display piece for my future fossil cabinet. Yep, so let's take something else now. So there is a second one, this one. And now under closer inspection, I think what is going on in here is two ammonites. This is probably half of one ammonite and there is another one peeking from this place. Let's try and cover these ones and see what's going on.
either this is a damage or it's very close to the fossil. I can't use Dremel anymore. I will try something else, like a needle or something. Let's see where it, where it goes. Overall, very nice specimen. Tiny and cute. I will try to use needle for this delicate prep. Not sure if I can remove anything from here. Might be damage, but this time probably not from crap. <laughs> okay, let's try with the needle. There is some damage in this uh, corner here. I prepped it as much as I could. I think this is the end. Let's cover it with Polaroid as well. And it should be good to go. And same as with the other one, I will as well uh, cut it out from the matrix into a smaller piece of matrix and it will be very neat display piece. Neat. And there we go. The result, this one is quite cute. A lot of serrations from the top, nice details. Uh, let's see, can we prep anything else for this video or this should be it? I'm not sure because I still have a beautiful big sponge that is waiting its turn for a prep. And yeah, as I said, I will cut it out like this. It will be like in a triangle. Sweet. To finish the prep, I had to travel to Tomek to cut out the ammonites from the matrix because ammonites are relatively tiny and not worth keeping them in these giant blocks of chalk. Tomek has some stone cutting discs to his disposal and he did help me out in the past too. So thank you so much Tomek for the help, much appreciated brother. And the last part, which I think is very important, is to even out the matrix because it takes a lot of aesthetic appeal and I think that's a big deal. So let's remove all these grooves. There we go, <laughs> looks nice, I like it. Can lay, can stand, no problem. And there we go, beautiful ammonite with crap damage in the middle. <laughs> Sweet. And finally, I wanted to cover with Paraloid this beautiful Nautilus from the same locality, very fragile, already prepped, so very beautiful. Polaroid covered, in my opinion, looks a lot better and it will be a lot better preserved for the future. <laughs> the snow is not stopping, it's quite cold today once again. God damn. Beautiful specimen, oh my. Final result is as follows. These two are magnificent. Specimen in the middle was only cut out of the matrix and covered with Paraloid. It was a perfect split. The one with crab damage is probably even more rare than these ones, but it's less aesthetic and the preservation is less and it has the crab damage. So that's unfortunate, kind of unfortunate at the same time, so that's sweet. 
<laughs> nice results, nice addition to my con collection. It will go into the display in the future. And now it's ready to go on the display. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you did enjoy this video. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.